we're going to talk a little bit about a tool uh, that you can use in order to determine uh, what direction your moments are pointing. Are they clockwise or are they counterclockwise? And it's important to note that what's really important is the, the, the relative moments. You need to be consistent. And as long as you're consistent, it, it almost doesn't matter which side you designate as positive and which side you designate as negative. Um, so we were looking at a problem <clears throat> down here, and Raf asked the question, well, what's a tool that I can use to, to always know which side is positive and which side is negative? And so that's, that's the tool that we're going to talk about here. Um, so if you have your, your pivot axis right here, this is the center, this is the, uh, the point about which your object is rotating. And <clears throat> the, the trick that I like to use is 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 it, it uses your hand and might require a little bit of explanation before we get there so so bear with me until this makes sense but um if if i curl my hand like this and my thumb points out this is the tool so this is the tool right here um <laughs> and again bear me, bear with me until it makes sense here but if my thumb is going to point this way if my fingers are curling in that direction, but if my fingers are curling in this direction, my thumb points the opposite way, right? My, th my fingers are curling like this, my thumb points like that. If my fingers are curling like this, my thumb points like that. So this, and, and which one you designate as positive or negative doesn't really matter as long as you're consistent in saying this is always positive and this is always negative, or this is always positive and this is always negative. <clears throat> now, bringing this back to our example here, um, I'm going to say that uh, we have a force pointing in this direction, and here's our pivot axis right here. So if I say that, um, I don't know, kind of pretend like this, the center of my hand right here, that's aligned with this, this pivot axis, and our weight is going down like that. So now my thumb's pointing up, right? Let's just say that's positive. Uh, you lost me there. What do you mean the hand is aligned with the pivot axis? Uh, just like pretend that there is an axis going to the center of my hand like that. But I thought the axis was going vertical. Uh, it's going out of the no, page now? It, it's, in a, it's always in and out of the page. I mean, think about the seesaw rotating, right? It's rotating at about about an axis going in and out of the page. Okay. Think so about your, anything that's your rotating. Hand over the axis is going out of the page. Yeah, the axis is going in and out of the page. So we imagine it's like a stick, like this. Sure. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So all you do is grab this stick. Okay. Grab the stick, right? And the force is going down, right? Down right here. So I'm curling like this and my thumb's pointing up. So your fingers indicate the direction that's right. of the moment. Direction of the of yeah, of the moment, of the force and yeah. What if this were to be pointing up though? Okay, great. So if this were pointing up now my fingers have to go like this, right? My fingers are pointing in, in the direction of the force. If, if the force is going up, my fingers have to point that way. And now what, what direction is my thumb pointing? Yeah, into the page. Into the page. So it's the opposite direction. Right, right. And same thing on this side, right? If, if my <laughs> fingers, well, what, what direction do my fingers need to point to align with that force? That way. That way, right? This way. And now what, what direction is my thumb pointing? Into the page. Into the page, right. Yep. Can we do a couple of examples with more variables? Sure, Actually, sure. Let's like four. Yeah. So let's do another one. Let's say we've got, um, let's say we've got a seesaw there. Can we do it first person so you can stand over here and then the camera behind you? Because it may be like awkward since you're on the other side. Let's try it. Okay. So it's just like a video game, first person. Okay, we've got another seesaw. This time it's going to be a, a crazy complicated seesaw. And let's say that we've got, we've got a person right here. And we've got a, a chain. This is a chain. <laughs> and someone up in the sky is pulling this, this chain up. So we've got a force up over there. And then we've got... Um, <clears throat> let's see, I don't know, uh, a, what, what are they called? Peregrine falcons, they're like these huge birds that came and landed. This is the bird here. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's landed right there. And then we've got, uh, we've got Uncle Billy Bob, who is over here. And then we've got, uh, uh, here's the ground here. We've got this mole, there's a little tunnel in here. This mole came up 
And this is a really strong mole. He's got a jet pack on. And he's pushing up right there, right? Here's our mole with the, the jet pack pushing up right there. <laughs> All right, so now we've got a bunch of different forces, right, acting on this seesaw. So um, I'm going to, I'm going to take a camera now, Raph, and oh, wow. why don't you tell us, okay. uh, using that, that thumb tool, what, what these um, moments look like. So first step. This is the axis. Yeah, and, and the axis, to be clear, is going what direction? In and out of the page, right? Yeah. I'm going around the axis. Yep. Okay, let's start off with um, this one. Okay. Fingers going down, thumb is up. Thumb up is positive, okay. so I'm going to go like that. So put a positive one there, all right? Uh, fingers need to go up, so if I'm grabbing this, fingers up. Are your fingers I know up? I'm doing it wrong, yep. but I'm doing it on purpose, so I could get this mixed up at home. Wait, hold on. Fingers have to go up. So, there you go. how do I know that when when to make that switch? Because that could, that could just be awkward. No, you can, that's, that's not allowed. You always have to close your hand? Yeah, close your hand. So, hold on, this is the switching sides. Why can't it do... This, because that's your, this, this, your your fingers aren't pointing the direction. You're, yeah, you're, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is the force, right, going up. Yeah. Right. So if if I go like that, what what direction are my fingers pointing? Down. Right. So that's not that's not correct. You what is what is up? <laughs> what about this? Okay, your fingers appear to be pointing down right now. But okay, this? your hand has to be closed, right? Yeah. You have to curl, curl, curl your hand in the direction of the force. Curl your fingers in the direction of the force. You're right now. You're opening your fingers in the direction of the force. Curl your fingers in the direction of the force. There you go. So uh, the fingers are going that way. Yep. So this is a negative. There you go. And really, once we know those two, we can label all the other ones. Yeah, but let's go through it just to be safe. Okay. So, wait. And I would um, always start from your, your the same reference. Yep. Yeah? So there's your pivot axis. Positive. And this one's going up, so it should be negative. This one, fine. Yeah. Negative. And this guy. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go back. This one here. It's pulling, right? Okay. Do it. do it again. Mm. Gee, that was complicated. Are you going that way? This one feels more comfortable. <laughs> and I'm sure you told me to do it again because it's wrong, but I'm trying to figure out why. No, that's not that's not wrong, but your thumb pointing up. What is that positive or negative? It's positive. Okay, thumbs up always. And what did you write down? Positive. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. So so I don't get mixed up. This is going up. Well, let's stop saying up and down. This is going in this direction. So in this direction. I don't know. I'm confused now. I should be looking at my wrist too. Maybe not bending my wrist too much. Yeah, keep your uh, uh, kind of keep your hand in the same place. I, I always like to pretend that my hand is like right over that the pivot axis. Okay, so I'm gonna go back. <clears throat> pivot axis, fingers that direction. Up. This is good. I'm gonna do this one now. Go in that direction. Yeah, same thing. Mm, which one are you looking at? This one. It's going that way. Okay, so, and, and when your fingers are curling, are they going that way? Oh no. When they curl, they go that way. So now that's a negative. Okay, this one over here. Fingers need to go that way. But 
I can't resolve the, this. Negative. Negative. Yep. So if there's a series of steps, the first one would be to grab the axis. And then for each one, positive, just for rule of thumb, uh, thumb up is always positive for me. That's how I'm going to remember this. And grab each one and then point with your fingers first before putting the thumb up. So for this one, fingers need to be going that way. I can't even close my hand, so I need to go like this. Shouldn't that be negative? Oh, that's positive. That's so positive. Fine. Yep. Okay. Does it make sense? It's a little hard. If you found this content helpful, consider enrolling in our signature program at mypipelineacademy. Dot com. Whether you're an individual interested in beginning a new career as a mechanical designer or a company interested in training your new engineering hires, our signature program helps students develop the practical skills they need to be productive mechanical design engineers. Seating is limited. We hope to see you there soon.